Friday. So, all the laundry that needs to be folded for Bailey, doing that. Then we'll start organizing and I'll start Fallon's laundry here in a bit. Let's get to it. You look at that. I said, my friend, what you're looking at? I think she is something for me. Excuse me, miss. It's my first time here. Maybe you can show me out of here. I think she got something in deep. So please forgive my rudeness if I'm tripping over your time. But you look so amazing. And we They're still all around me. I gotta put everything away. But we are going to label what goes in the little blue bins that go in the cubed shelf. So let's get to that. Alrighty, so everything is labeled, even the diaper changing table thing over there. We are gonna put all this away after we put um, everything away I may just pack her bag and then get started on mine it is 440 I have to do the dishes and figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner around 5 30 6 o'clock I might do some cheese quesadillas or like a grilled cheese or sorry, something simple like that. But we gotta organize all of Bailey's clothes and put them in the dresser and pack her hospital bag and mine. mostly newborn stuff and she's supposed to be a bigger baby so hopefully we get some use out of most of them anyway the stuff over there are the older stuff that I already had but this stuff is new and those are like the six months gown stuff we're gonna put all this away and then start on her hospital bag I, a rudeness if I'm tripping over your time but you look so amazing and we can be so much more than who we are so much more than who we are we can we can knee deep in while the world just falls apart at the rise of a bit oh and we can we can and we can be so much more than who we are so much more than who we are we can we can and knee 
Okay, everything is put away. So excited. I might label the dressers too. But right, this is nightgowns. Onesies. And it's newborn to zero to three to three month range. Outfits. Um, shirts and shorts. And then down here is just the um like the last drawer is the very big big ones like the six month and up that are new and washed and ready to go. I'm gonna go in the closet, see what other outfits I need to go in there. Then we'll get started on her hospital bag. Now to decide what to take to the hospital. I might take a couple things of newborn, a couple things of zero to three so that I know I will have clothes that will fit her. Um, See what we can do. All right, so <clears throat> for nightgown wise, um, I have this little, it's a shirt and pants and zero to three just in case. That's not night. Then I have a gown and a zip up. Um, coming home outfit, either this little outfit, this is newborn, or zero to three little sister outfit, and then a zero to three onesie and a newborn onesie for chilling. Survive. receiving blanket like to cover up like on the car seat when we go home and to take newborn pictures in the hospital if we can and baby is ready to go we have the stroller ready to go in the car diaper bag and car seat ready to go in the car Oh, things are getting real, you guys. Getting really real. Alrighty, so. Dishes are done. Dinner is done and ate. Fallon's asleep. I'm going to pack my hospital bag. Don't exactly know what all to bring, but I'm going to put a few things in there. A few things of Chris's in there. Um, I can probably like put the diaper bag inside that one so it's all together. Put the diaper bag and all that's in Fallon and Bailey's room, so I'm not going in there tonight. But we're gonna get that packed, and then tomorrow I'll put sheets in that and in the pack and play. Cribs already made. But let's get to it. Motivation. Okay, I'm back. So, a 
I think I got everything. I'm not too sure. I'm going to put all my little little things in here. Put some hair ties. Brush. Deodorant. Conditioner. Shampoo. Little mini toothbrush and toothpaste. Q tips and then two different kind of masks just in case. This is um, my birth plan. This is going to come with me. This is a copy. I have an Ellen to give to the doctors next week. Extra little shoes. A charging block. I have to buy some chargers to bring with us because we use the ones that we have. I got Chris some boxers, a couple shirts, one pair of um, shorts just in case. If I'm comfortable enough, I got some underwear, extra bra, some socks, two shirts, and two pairs of pants. And I will also have to make a list so I don't forget. I know I need to bring chargers and phones and iPad or iPad. Um, or something else. I have to remember to write stuff down as I think of it. But as of right now, I think that is all I'm packing. Unless I think of something else later. Okay, I'm also adding, um, I don't know which ones, I'll probably like a coming home outfit. For me, I got two different kinds of pants. I got one from like leggings, and then I got like jeggings. And that's what I'm going to wear home, if not a pair of the night clothes that I have. Good morning, everybody. Oh, sorry. It is almost 7 o'clock. This morning we still got some uh, baby stuff to do. I got another little load of Bailey's to do. Is a friend of ours bought a gift for her. We're going to wash that with the rest of like some bedding from the baby shower that I did not wash. But... I'm adding this to my hospital bag and then when I can purchase some more here in a couple days because we're very low with the liquid IVs that I drink every morning I'm gonna bring like three to four of those with me 
in a bag so that I can still drink that and stay hydrated. Uh, but so far that's about it. I'm about to get Fallon up and get her ready for school, take her to school, and then I'll be home, relax a little bit, and then get started on what we need to do. Okay, so I'm home, I've ate breakfast, all that good stuff. It's been about an hour and a half-ish. I wanted to show you what our friend Kitty got Bailey. And then I still got some bedding and stuff I have to wash. But before I show you all that, when I went to the store yesterday and used the Target gift card, into some of the washcloths that I got. I still need some washcloths. I got about four or five towels, which is a good start. Some little washy cloths. It came with like six or whatever. I need some good thick ones like this. I need some more of those. And then I got the bedding my Aunt Sandy got. That needs to be washed. And then, Miss Kitty, she got these little rattles. Got this little book, like some three book. She has this little rattle. Super, super cute. This book. This is super cute. It's Bunny's My First Bedtime Story. There's Thumper and the Noisy Ducks, A Day with Papa, Thumper's Summer Day, I Love You My Bunnies, Thumper Finds a Friend, Good Night Thumper, so there's multiple stories in this book, super cute, Fallon will also love this book. And she has some cute little shoesies. And a mix of some clothes. She has zero to three little sister, little night, nighty. Two way zipper. That's new. They didn't have the two way zipper when Fallon was born. Then a newborn little panda sleeper. Cutest little outfit. This is zero to three. So, so cute. And then some more little zero to three little onesies. Super, super cute. She got some cool stuff. I'm going to wash all this and put it away. That way I'm still on top of everything. And there was something. I need to pack Fallon a bag, but I don't know if she's going to be going to school or not going to school. I have no idea, but I still got to pack her some kind of bag and still not be without the clothes that we need here. So let's get to it. Okay, you guys, I'm going to give a quick um, little baby update. And that is it. As of right now, I am 36 weeks pregnant. It says Bailey is as big as a papaya and should be almost 6 pounds according to the app, but according to the doctor and their estimate, weight... For baby through ultrasound is around seven pounds right now so 
We don't know how big baby's gonna be. We shall see. 36 week, weeks pregnant. Month nine already. I am nine months pregnant. Time is flying since baby really could decide to arrive any day now. Try to put in your final prep work at 36 weeks pregnant. For example, if you took a childbirth class a few months ago, reread the materials you were given. I didn't take any kind of classes. But we shall be okay. <laughs> Um, update boss colleagues on status of all work projects. Well, I don't work, so I'm a stay-at-home mama. How big is Bailey at 36 weeks? Ooh, sorry. As big as a papaya, measuring 18.7 pounds, 5.8 pounds. 36 weeks pregnant is 9 months. With just four weeks to go well I have three because they're inducing me a week early if I don't go into labor on my own so I have like 21 days left until she will be here uh, 36 weeks pregnant symptoms when you have just four weeks but three weeks for me to go pretty much all your symptoms have to do with the fact that baby is almost here. Your 36 week pregnant symptoms may include improved breathing. Still out of breath, but not as bad. Pelvic discomfort. Yeah, you're feeling this one for the same reason you can breathe again. Baby is down low, putting pressure on your pelvis. Look out for signs of labor. Mm, sorry through including regular persistent contractions. I have been feeling contractions. I've been having pain, sharp intense pain in my lower, lower belly, but no dilation. They checked me yesterday. Uh, heartburn, no, just the acid reflux, swollen ankles and feet. My right foot stays swollen at this point. Changes in vaginal discharge. Eh. 36 week pregnant discharge may increase as your body resides itself for birth, but look out for watery discharge, which could be amniotic fluid. Blood, no. Mucus like, no. And even with Fallon, I didn't see my mucus plug. If I lost it, I had no idea that I lost it. Or I lost it when I went into labor. One or the other. Braxton Hicks contractions. I'm just getting the lower sharp intense pain in the lower belly as of right now. Here and there. Throughout the day. Sometimes it lasts for a couple hours. And goes away. But... What are the signs of labor at 36 weeks? There are a few key signs that baby is ready to meet you. The first signal that you may have a baby at 36 weeks is your water breaking. My water has not broke. Um, it could be a trinkle or a gush. 36 week pregnant, the signs of labor can be tough to tell apart from regular pregnancy discomforts. So you'll just want to notify your doctor if anything seems out of the ordinary. I mean, when I went to the doctor yesterday, I told her where my pain was. She says, those are contractions. She checked me for dilation. Nothing's happening as of yet. They did the strep B swab test because I was only one day away from 36 weeks yesterday. So... A 36 week pregnant belly probably won't seem to change much from week to week. You probably gained close to 25 to 35 pounds total. I, I'm right at in between 6 to 10 pounds weight gain. 
Well, the recommended total amount of pregnancy weight gain for women, normal VMI. If they're six weeks pregnant with twins, I'm not pregnant with twins. Is it safe to deliver at 36 weeks? Ideally, baby would wait a few more weeks. Baby born at 36 weeks generally has very good chances of being completely healthy. However, baby is still late preterm. There is a risk that there could be some health issues, but nothing's happening as of yet. Um, it's tips for 36 week pregnant skip. Ooh, craving chips and salsa if you've been suffering harbor and it. Order the early bird specials. Elevate your feet. Um, that's all that app says. But at 36 weeks pregnant baby is well in utero a baby should be about looking like this. Super, super cute. I wonder if she's going to have hair. Fallon did not. She was bald. But I'm super excited. can happen any day now. I have my bag packed for the most part. I have a couple more things, you know, to get together. Um, stuff that can't wait until... Whatever, but I have to buy a couple things. Um, I have Bailey's diaper bag packed. I have the birth plan in my bag. I'm going to bring the extra one to the doctor. But I'm just going to have an extra one on hand to give them. Car seat and stroller will go in the car soon. As as will the bags. I'll pack Fallon a small little bag. And that's it. We are ready for the most part for this baby to come and make her arrival. But I gotta find out who's taking Fallon. Will it be one of my friends? <laughs> Will it be his mama? I just, my main thing is I don't want her to miss school just because I'm having a baby. I don't want that aspect of her life and schedule to change. I don't want her to miss out on anything. She's doing really, really, really well in school. And I just, I don't want it to change. I don't want it to uproot her life 100%. But I am going to call this a vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for me. And I will have a pregnancy bump 36 week bump picture update with the talk of the update so it will be there if you didn't see it we'll wind it just a little bit and you'll see it but i'll see you guys on the next one bye I just